Afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the Sawdust Factory. Glad to see you stopping in to see what we got going on today. Um, got these little sticks of wood glued up here, and I bet you're wondering, what is he making with those things that look like that? Basically, I'm going to sand these down all smooth, both sides. Um, yeah, we always sand both sides, but get them cleaned up real good. Uh, the bigger ones that you see here, cut those into a, do a circle. And uh, we'll come back and drill a inch and an eighth hole here in the centerpiece. And then we'll have four three quarter inch holes with a slot cut in. You can set this over the top of a wine bottle and have your glasses hanging from the edge of it. Uh, making two of these, uh, this is red oak. We got some uh, a little bit of cherry and some coca bolo in there. And then uh, this one is poplar, cherry and coca bolo. Um, these are actually going to be used in a new restaurant that's opened up in Statesboro, Georgia. So that uh, I know the fellow that's opening it, he'd asked me to make them some things to uh, that they could use in the restaurant. So that's what we're working on today. These got three of them here we're making six all together um, uh, this is like some red oak and uh, looks like some mahogany just some thin scraps of stuff that I had left over we're putting these stripes in these will have a hole right here in the center and just a, a hole in a slot on each end for two glasses sit over top of a bottle of wine and I'm considering doing a, like a diagonal cut here putting a piece in there uh, and you know one on each side of where the bottle comes through just to give it a little little different look we'll see uh, I may try that on one and see how it goes I can imagine it's going to be kind of a pain to glue up but we'll see uh, these I'm going to run through the planer and trim them down clean them, clean them up uh, square up the ends here here and drill my holes, cut my slots, and put a finish on them. They'll be done. I'll actually probably round, run these through the router table with a round over bit to uh, soften these edges up a little bit also before I put the finish on them. But we'll, uh, we'll be back in a while and show you some progress. I want to show you a couple things real quick before I get to doing some serious sanding here um, number one I am going to use the, the Dewalt belt sander with some uh, 80 grit paper that'll uh, take should take it down fairly quick get all this excess glue and off there and get them evened up but uh, what I'm doing here is I've got a piece of this old thick uh, kind of mesh shelf line that I put under, under my work piece helps keep it from sliding around and also uh, I left these stobs on there so that I could clamp it in place. That way it won't run away from me and uh, makes it a lot, a lot easier. So uh, with that being said, let me uh, fire up the sander here and we'll uh, see if we can't clean these things up. All right, everybody, we're back. Uh, got a lot of work done while we were gone. Got uh, these two bigger pieces sanded real good. Um, and um, got them all marked out where I'm going to drill all my holes and everything, all that good stuff. Um, used my handy dandy beam compass here to, uh, after I found the center point in this square, and got my outside circle there, and then I used it as a reference to, uh, and just measure across from there to there to get my center point there and come up a good inch and that's where I'll drill a hole for the uh, glasses to hang from so that's where we're at now um, I also got this one glued up this is just going to be for two glasses we'll have our of course our center hole glass hole glass hole there and um, kind of tricky gluing this stuff up that's cut on an angle like that but that's all right we uh I got it figured out. I, I know the secret now. So, um, 
if you need to, you know, if you want to know the secret, just ask me. I might tell you. Uh, no, nah, it's not that big of a deal. I just had to think a little bit and get it, uh, you know, sometimes you got to do that. Sometimes you got to think on your own. <laughs> Another little project that I laid out and I'm going to work on tonight is uh, some stands for my pipe clamps. Um, just, you know, scraps of 2 by 4 They're going to be about three inches tall. And what I've just marked them in the center. I'm gonna, these are for my half inch clamps. Uh, I'm going to make some for some three quarter inch pipe too. Come in, drill a hole right there dead center. And um, I'll just put them on a miter saw. Whack them one time right there in the center. And uh, there we go. We got us a couple of pipe stands. We'll see how they work. Um, may not even work. You know, you know if, they, well, if they don't work, all I wasted was about a, uh, about 18 inches of 2 by 4 So no biggie. But uh, I think they'll come in pretty handy. You can uh, set your... Uh, pot clamps down in there so you got a little there above the table a little bit when you go to uh, adjust them turn your crank your handle down they'll uh, you got a little room you don't bust your knuckles on the table so um, and that's that's where we're at now on these projects we'll be back all right everybody we're back up here with the uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut the circle part of this, uh, show you a couple things that I do to uh, make it a little bit easier to cut circle on the bandsaw. Uh, number one is I'll trim off these corners, and then the other trick that I have found is slow and steady on the bandsaw when you're cutting your, uh, your edge. There are jigs that you can make for uh, cutting circles on bandsaws. I don't cut enough circles to have ever made one. I probably will one day, but um, yeah, it's one of those things that's on the uh, list of projects to do that never seems to get done. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and knock the corners off of here and we'll start the circle.
got it all trimmed out and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start on the circle and uh, it's gonna take takes a few minutes to uh, it's going so slow to uh, come around there and something you'll notice here is I've already gotten some burn uh, you will with the bandsaw get especially on your harder woods uh, get some burn but usually it's nothing that a little bit of sand that won't take care of so let's go ahead and start on the circle got tired of hearing that saw so. but uh, you can see how much burn I'm getting here um, and also I'm trying to cut just the outside of my red line here which uh, gives me a little bit of room you know if you've got to sand it uh, which you definitely will that gives you a little bit of a little bit of room to play with be back in a while Alright everybody, we're back. Uh, got these done. And uh, basically, after I laid my pattern out, got all my holes drilled, cut these notches with the scroll saw for the stem of the glasses to fit through. I um, took and used a round over, quarter inch round over bit to round off the edges of everything that I could and uh, gives them a, you know, a nice soft edge there um, comes out a lot more uniform than trying to sand it and uh, spray them with a coat of shellac and then I uh, also put uh, about four coats of uh, spray lacquer on them to help protect them and these are going to be used in a restaurant so they'll be able to you know if they need to they'll be able to wipe them down with a damp cloth um, also on these I when I uh, laid out the pattern for the holes I didn't use a paper pattern I just took a uh, tape measure and did a little calculating and some recalculating and, and calculated a third time and got it right on about the third time. 
got my, all my holes where I needed them to be. Um, for these holes, I used uh, Forster bits because they make a nice, you know, real nice clean hole. Uh, these, these, uh, the, the pattern, I just, again, I just drew, sketched that on the wood and uh, went from there. All, uh, all six of them here. This will be a happy customer. I'll get the hopefully get them delivered this afternoon. Get some greenbacks in my pocket and buy some groceries. Uh, also, uh, earlier in the video, I had talked about like these little clamp stands. I got these all uh, done. Got some for some three quarter inch clamps. Um, this same thing, used the Forstner bit, drilled a hole, put them on a miter saw, whacked them one time right there, and uh, now I'll be able to have my pipe clamps when I'm using them, standing up off the table a little bit. Anyway, that is where we're at on this project. We're done. D-U-N, done. Uh, that's it. It's a wrap. All that other good stuff, and no, not no rap music either. Um, we don't play none of that stuff around here. Not here. But uh, I appreciate everybody watching. If you'd like to check out more of my work, log into Facebook and look up the Sawdust Factory GA. That's us. Uh, got, you know, several hundred pictures of projects that we've done, projects that we'd love to do again. If anybody's interested in any of my work, definitely check it out. Thanks for watching.